everybody, welcome to Leon's Chainsaw Parts and Repair. Tonight we're looking at Bill's Easy Automatic. He sent this to me because it wasn't running quite right. He had put a... Uh, whoop. One of these days I really will have to clean this workbench again. He had put a carb kit in it and uh, it would start and run for just a, a little brief second and then just die right out. You could start it on full choke and when you try to turn it off it would just blah. So naturally since I knew the carburetor had been worked on that was the first thing I looked at and what I found is a common common thing that happens. Walbro HDC carbs when they send you uh, or if you buy a K10 HDC you get two different gaskets that go under the the metering plate. Let me grab this is a parts carburetor that's missing some stuff but so this is the the diaphragm side that has the needle and all that sort of stuff so if I had all the parts for this there'd be the, the inlet uh, needle here, the arm that moves up and down on the spring. Well underneath here you've got a gasket and this is what they call the circuit plate on these things because those are the tips of the adjustment needles and various fuel inlet points and here's the check valve so you pop this off to replace that gasket if you're not watching what you're doing you might put the wrong one in like that one that was in this carburetor here and the difference is really minor but incredibly critical. You can see this side is open to allow easy fuel flow and on this one it's closed off. I don't know which HDC's used this one but nothing on a home light that I have found yet does. So you want the Z shaped, S shaped, whatever you want to call that it's probably closer to an S shape in order to get your proper flow. So if you look at it when it's sitting here I'm not going to get too deep into this, but you got your two screw holes that hold it down. As fuel flows in, it comes through that hole and down into the metering area. And you can see there's a little hole in the carburetor right there, a passage that allows free flowing fuel through here. That other gasket seals that off and it doesn't allow flow to fuel, fuel to flow. Nice little bit of dyslexia there. So anyway, that was one of the problems on this saw. Uh, the other was this check valve that's under here. And trying to service this without destroying something is almost impossible. Getting that snap ring out without puncturing the screen is difficult. And typically in the process that damages the little piece of uh, diaphragm material underneath there that acts as a check valve. Erratic, uh, improper revving, uh, inability to adjust the carb, you've done everything else, it's probably that check valve. The most current part number is a, what is it, a 93910C, I believe, but they're getting harder and harder to find and the guys that have them uh, want a mint for them. Uh, Walbro does still manufacture them. Their part number is 86-520 for anybody who who might need one. Uh, I sourced mine from a shop in Salem, and so far they've been a, a reasonable price. So anyway, back to Bill's saw. As you can hear, it's running pretty uh, pretty damn good right now. Uh, needed an air filter. He'd already done uh, fuel hoses I and mean, new Tigon looked really good. Uh, other than that, you know, getting that carburetor squared away with the check valve and that proper circuit plate gasket, it's uh, tuned pretty good right now. He's already got a, a very nice uh, setup on here. He's got the rim sprocket and the heavy duty three shoe clutch. This is a
I am going to say it's a late 71 model, and I think no one's been into this this saw. I believe it's his dad's saw, and uh, some of the parts I found as I was just diagnosing stuff, it just looked like this saw had never been apart before, and it's obviously been treated very well. So, Bill, the only thing left on this is uh, a common problem that I found with these old fuel caps. There should be an aluminum, let's see if that's going to, there we go, should be an aluminum tube that goes down into that recess that holds a duckbill valve to make it a one-way and not allow fuel to leak out. That tube, I haven't found it anywhere. I didn't find it in the bottom of the fuel tank. Uh, I'll try rattling around one more time, but may have to source a, a different fuel cap for it. And the throttle rod grommet is completely blown out, so that's an air leak into or bypassing the filter. So I need to order. Uh, one of my aftermarket ones to put in there so it'll be a little bit before I can get this back to you but as you can hear it's running good and uh, as soon as I get these two issues figured out I'll get the thing headed back your way